How's it going, YouTube? My name is Greg Brown. I'm the owner, guide, and captain of Dry Taker Fishing Charters here in Hawaii, on the island of Oahu. Basically, what we're going to be highlighting on this channel are catching cooks, how to's, DIYs, all sorts of fishing videos. I went from this fish bag, which isn't bad, it's about 36 inches long. It's pretty sturdy, it keeps ice really well. No, no major issues other than overall size. It fits perfectly on the kayak, but the fish that I target and go after, especially around this time of year, are just too big for this. So instead, what I went and got is, it's from Elton Outdoors. It's pretty much double the size of my older one. It's 60 inches long. Same double insulated sides here. <clears throat> High quality zipper, heavy duty straps for carrying. I had to find an alternative route to ice because I didn't like dealing with the water as a byproduct when it melted and the amount of ice I needed just wasn't conducive. I'm limited to how much weight I could take out there. I strongly recommend this product called Cooler Shop. It's a great alternative for ice. You don't have to worry about the excess water from it when it melts. Um, it actually gets colder than ice. It gets to 0%, I mean 0%, 0 degrees. So it has the ability to freeze your skin. Just be mindful how you handle this once you freeze it. It lasts up to 48 hours and it doesn't weigh as much. It doesn't get much thicker than this. I just rinse this off after each trip and stick it back in the freezer. But on the back here, I put strips of Velcro and it's just a you know a typical two-sided velcro i also have velcro on the inside of this bag and i have them evenly spaced out you know four on the top four on the bottom so my fish are sandwiched in between two cold packs check them out they're on amazon i'll put the link in the description below so the great thing about this bait tank here is that it keeps your center of gravity low and i got tired of dragging a bait tube now, I still carry my bait tube as a spare, just in case for whatever reason this were to fail. But I've been using this for about six, seven months now with no problems. $3 storage container from Walmart. $4 waterproof container from Walmart. A T500, that cost me 20 bucks. And you got yourself a bait tank. One thing that I highly recommend people do is get you a, a sticker with your name, your phone number. Somebody finds this, they know who it belongs to. Not till we have 